All right, welcome to the Muscle Maturity Podcast, episode number 54. I am John Hansen. I'm here with my co-host, Samir Benute. How you doing, Samir? We haven't talked to you in a while. Yeah, it's been quite some time, you know. I, I guess everybody was busy. I was traveling. I I, yeah. I didn't really have a good connection where I was, and I was actually doing some seminar over in uh, Chihuahua, Mexico. And oh, so I was okay. gone for, for almost 12 days. So wow. okay. and, yeah. and then pri- prior prior to that, we have Nick's had something to do with surgical, right? He did something for his arm. Yeah, he had so some, th- some skin cancer. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, good to see you. I'm like happy we're back. <laughs> we left off a quite a bit of stuff <laughs> no. to talk about. So mm, have you? Yeah, been, yeah, man? yeah. I've been good, you know. The weather's get weather's getting better out here in Tampa. You know, it's not as hot anymore. How are you guys doing with your weather out there in California? Oh, the weather is very nice lately. I've been very lucky, and this year wasn't a bad year because I don't like hot weather and the temperature really. We only had a couple of days of a hundred, but usually it goes up to one fifteen, one sixteen every year. So it was a good year. Wow. Overall, yeah. right now we have about 81 degree, maybe 82 high. And then at night it's coming to about 50, 50 something, 56, 58, somewhere around now. But good weather, good weather. But not yeah, as good yeah. as in Chihuahua, in Mexico, where I was. It was higher than Denver, Colorado. It was like uh, 65, 6,500 oh, yeah. square feet above sea level. It was fun. Yeah. We trained, and you know what? When I was there, I put on like seven, eight pounds of muscle. <laughs> really? Not seven, eight pounds, That's but at least five pounds. Here we go, John. I give you a sampler. Look at that. <laughs> there it is. I haven't seen my tricep in a while. <laughs> the food was really yeah. organic overall. I had fun. We should. Next time, we have to arrange something together over there. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I, I filmed the video once in Mexico City, and you're right. It, the altitude is super high out there. I forgot about that. Very, and very, very nice. Really, really good. And the people are so sweet, man. And you know how some yeah. people always afraid to go to Mexico? I didn't even see one argument, one bullet, nothing. I mean, it was just peaceful and where, where yeah. I was. So yeah, you were in- if, there, if, there, <laughs> if there is a problem in Mexico, would be among some people not that. Uh, the average Joe are really wonderful, wonderful people. Yeah. We had so much fun. Yeah, yeah. Mm. All right, Samir. Well, we got a lot of topics to talk about this week. Um, mm-hmm. I wanted to get your take on Regan Grimes beating Nathan Viasha uh, a few weeks ago. Um, so Nathan mm-hmm. beat Regan the week before, and then one week later, uh, Nathan beats Regan. So what do you think about that? I mean, I'm sorry, Regan beat Nathan in the second fall. Yeah, yeah. I saw mostly photograph John, and I thought Regan re-peaked, and he did look better, but it was a very, very tight call. You know, in certain yeah. areas, I, vo- I voted for Nathan in certain area, but, you know, Regan, again, as we discussed uh, in the earlier podcast, you know, Regan is an incredible bodybuilder, but I still see certain things that he needs to work on. The posing is still very amateur. It's not a professional, Jean. From my perspective, I'm talking from yeah. my perspective. And then, you know, I always elaborate about posing. You know, I mean, when you're at that level of competitiveness, you got to be more professional and showing it. Even mm-hmm. Nathan, who was in really good shape, I think he could still improve in that department. I don't think these guys are putting so much emphasis on presentation. I mean, look. This is, you look at the physique of Regan, beautiful, he's complete. But that pose, I don't disagree with. I see a lot of flaws. You know, can I talk about it openly? And really, with all honesty, no bullshit. I said he could be Mr. Olympia, but the way he's posing like that, the way he opened up his legs and not making it rhyme, I think his chance is not yeah. going to be as good, John. I think his chances will definitely slim down. He needs to pose better and much better. On a scale of 1 to 10, let's say yeah, I'll I'm, give his posing a 5. And, and yeah, Nathan, I remember when you said that, you said that. 
Go ahead. I remember you said he's got like a Mr. Olympia technique. And I was, you know, when we looked at those pictures of him and the videos of him training in the gym, he looked unbelievable. But I was kind of surprised when I saw these pictures. He he doesn't look like he, he still looks like he really needs to get bigger and fill out in a lot of areas. Like, look at his arms here. You know, he doesn't have the size or the impact I thought he was going to bring to the stage, you know? You know, I think one day I was watching Nick on his podcast talking about uh, the gym body. I mean, you know, in, on Instagram, everybody looked like Mr. Olympia. Not to say that Regan didn't look – Regan looked incredible. I, I was very impressed by all when he was doing back, some of that. But when he posed, you see, like this pose, it's wrong. From my perspective, yeah. it's wrong. The body is wonderful. The size, I think the size is there. I mean, Regan is a great bodybuilder from head to toe. But he has an airplane that could not fly it properly. That's why I would give him a five on a scale of one to ten. I'm posing because... So you, you, think, you think it's posing than it is his physique at this point. Okay. Remember Pete Grumkowski back in the days? Yeah, Pete Grumkowski. Yeah. Or let's say Paul Dillett. I mean, when these, like Pete okay. Grumkowski, back from the late 70s, he walked on stage, he looked like the winner. He's just standing in the lineup. Same thing with Paul Dillett. But when they start posing, yeah. the body go back, down, like they, you know, it's just... They mess up. They shoot themselves in the foot. So, you know, um, Regan is doing yeah. that. I'm really, I'm really surprised that if he's with, uh, Milos, I mean, Milos have extensive experience and they really need to apply yeah. the art of flexing. And, and from my perspective, and again, no disrespect, I don't like the way he's showing his body. Not even in this pose. Yeah. I don't know if you'd agree or not, John. What do you think? Yeah, I, you know, like I said, I just uh, was kind of underwhelmed by the physique that he showed. I mean, it looks good, but he just needs to bring up a lot of body parts. I thought he was going to make more of an impact, you know, with all those pictures in the gym. And I don't know if he's filtering his pictures, you know, and making them look better on Instagram. And maybe we had too high expectations, but uh, oh, he just still like he he's still so. progress as far as. I don't think so. Really so. I think he was just, well, he was doing a video posing. He wasn't altering the video while he's training. You can see the muscle is there, healthy, right. round muscle, beautiful muscle. Yes, he could still be a little bit sharper. He could still be sharper. Yeah. But, yeah. of course, he looked a lot better in his second show. And, honestly, I have no decision over um, Nathan versus Regan on the second show. If you tell me it's a tie... I would say yes because I needed to be there to be precise on who should want who you should have won. I think uh, Nathan yeah. presented his body a lot more profession professionally. So, I mean, look, anybody yeah, Nathan, just spread their legs like that in this pose, John, to me is very unprofessional. You don't need to spread yeah. your legs. You need to keep your feet together. We have to find a way to get our message across and also stop the weirdness. These kind of things are unnecessary. Opening the legs wide, not necessary. You know, honestly, in my opinion, there's only about two or three people in the entire country that can do the right proper posing. Seriously. Yeah, I, but, I know. It's unbelievable. Yeah, I mean, so do you, if, do you if, think, he's, um, if he's – go ahead. Do you think that maybe the judges were kind of leaning towards him so he could get an Olympia qualification? And Because if, if Nathan would have won again, then Regan wouldn't have went to the Olympia. But now Nathan's going and Regan are going because they both won separate shows. I hate them when they do that because fair is fair. But probably, I'm, I'm also suspicious a little bit. Because Regan have a good name yeah. now, and they would love to see him on the Olympia stage. But again, like I said, it was all I'm being sincere here. The show could have gone either way. He it was not walk in the park for Regan. And right. if you give it to Nathan, 
it would still be acceptable. So could yeah. have well, Reagan won by mar by good margin. He could have, but he has to. And if he's listening to me, please listen, Reagan. You need to also. I mean, even look, Nathan doing that position with his legs also is, is not right. It just doesn't flow yeah. properly. So, but I like, re I think Nathan quality was pretty damn impressive. He peaked good couple times and really, I can see his face was unhappy in some of the video mm -hmm. from Instagram. And sometimes you feel bad for the guy who like, he won the week before. He didn't look worse. He still stayed probably better the second week, but I guess, uh, it was tight. Reagan re-peaked, and the judges saw Reagan. Reagan looks better than he did the show before. And I guess yeah. they gave him extra love, you know? So. Yeah. Yeah. Well, there was I mean, another show. Okay, Jean. There was that Sharu I'm going to ask you the same question here. How do you yeah. see the quality between. Nathan and Regan, and how do you see it from your own perspective? Uh, I kind of thought uh, Nathan was going to win. You know, I thought, I mean, again, you know, we're looking at it only pictures and stuff, so we're not, we're not there. But, uh, you know, I think Regan obviously was taller, wider, but uh, Nathan was really impressive to me uh, just with his muscle volume and his quality and how thickness he is, you know, how thick he is. And he's hard, too, you know. He is so harder I muscle, think he's got. Sure. Mm. I could see why this guy's won ten pro shows. You know what I mean? I, when I see him, I mean he hasn't competed in a while, so it was good to see him back on stage. And uh, but yeah. I could see why he's a multi winner of pro shows because he does have a really good quality physique. He's freaky, you know, with all the the roundness and the thickness he has, and he comes in in good shape. You know, he's a, he's a great bodybuilder. Well, let's put it this way: I was eating on that table. Some in some restaurant, and then I was looking at the video. I have three, four bodybuilders sitting next to me, and then they all looked at it, and they all went Nathan. I mean, again, this yeah. is a video. It's different than being there live. But again, John, I right. do agree with you. The muscle density, the hardness was slightly ahead uh, on Nathan. Now, yeah. the body, yeah, the, 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 yeah. the beauty of the... The beauty of the body on Regan, uh, had he present his body properly, could give him also probably more more uh, stronger win. But it was shaky win, honestly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. How do you think Regan's going to do at the Olympia? Uh, last, you know, couple episodes ago, I said he could win the Olympia, and I sincerely mean that. He could. But the way he is presenting mm -hmm. his body, I won't even put him in the top five. I won't. Top ten? I won't put him in the top five. Top the way... Oh, yeah, top ten, because the guy is huge and got a pretty physique, but he's hurting himself when he pulls. Yeah. And so yeah. I don't think... Well, I don't think he is going to be a guy like Samson or, you know, Derek or Hardy. He's not going to beat them. Why? No. Because, you know, what what would you place him? What do you predict? I think I think he would be like in call out number three. I think he'd be between 11th and 15th. Look, look. Look, what is he missing here? I'm looking at this photo. Look at the lat, the shoulder, the legs. He's yeah. hurting himself. His legs are not small, but the way he's making them, the way he's standing, it's taking 20%, 10% of his overall beauty. Tell me, you yeah. call me crazy, but you know what? This is what I love the most. I understand posing and presentation. He's just not making the body look right. And the way he's arching forward, making his leg look shorter. And that opening yeah. of the legs is completely wrong. Lala, look, look at that. Shoulders and arms. The guy's amazing. The lat. 
I mean, his lat a yeah. lot longer than Nathan have a shorter lat. That's the yeah, only thing I yeah. find. Yeah, Nathan probably doesn't have the longer lat longer than Regan. But, so if, if Nathan I mean, makes it to the Olympia, if Nathan makes it to the Olympia and Regan makes it to the Olympia, who do you think is going to place higher at the Olympia? I think Nathan will. Yeah, I do too. If if Nathan comes in like he was and maybe improve on that, I see Nathan in the top yeah. eight. Yeah, you know, eight to ten. The over, yeah, I think so too. An, an, another big mistake was that opening of the legs. A huge mistake. It's killing his proper yeah. symmetry. I would love to talk to him and and help him out. Those things makes a huge difference. Let's put it this way: mm-hmm. if I stood like that in my Mr. Olympia win, I wouldn't have won. I'm being honest. <laughs> right. Sometimes you have the body, yeah. and then you, you pose like if you pose like a funky chicken, it's not gonna you're not gonna deliver the message the way you should have it. So. You know, I see more power in his presentation than Regan. And I see more hardness. And so, but again, Regan comes in prepared and he posed properly. He'll make the top five. Do I wow. think he can hmm. repair that? He's not going to repair. John, I don't think he's going to be able to repair that working with the people he's working with now. Look, he has to realize yeah. That his nutri- nutritional coaches are not deep in creating this line that makes him look better on stage. And winning is not about going yeah. like this and going like that. That don't mean shit. You got to make sure every pose is meticulously right and do the transition and show your strength and hide your weakness. And it's automatic yeah. for me when someone... Start standing like that, opening the legs. You just ruining it for yourself. Look, I'm not always saying, "Oh, yeah. let me go to Samir." He can go to a guy like uh, what's his name, Terence. You remember Terence? Yeah, right? we're gonna talk about him in a minute. He yeah, go, he, he can go to Samir. He can go to Frank Zane. He can go to Terence, and guess what? Not anybody else. Nobody's gonna help him better than these three people. Maybe you too, Jean. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> but honestly, you gotta go to Frank Zane. You have to go. I really learned a lot from Frank myself, and I kept improving on that. Don't forget, Lila Brada, who is considered one of the best poser. He used to drive all, all the way to Palm Spring. Why? Labrada yeah. is smart. Labrada is smart. He knows. I'm going to aim and shoot. He showed straight. Labrada, he goes on stage. He's like seven. When he poses, he takes it to 11. We can go on stage. Yeah, he's yeah, 10. Yeah. He takes himself to four or five. And this is my honest opinion. Right, right. So yeah. It, yeah. It's, it's time for Regan to realize that, be truthful with himself, not just listen to anyone. I think Milos need to work with him on posing. I think Milos, Milos, from looking at his posing, not a bad poser. But why would you allow your client not to be good in this department? Why wouldn't you tell your client to close those legs? I don't care about the stupid rule. The rule is wrong. Opening the legs and standing like that. This is not acceptable. Even the rule needs to be changed. Right, That's my right, opinion. Right. So yeah, I, you know me. I, it's a modern way. Well, the it's modern ever, way. they put those. The modern way is horrible, and is totally yeah. wrong. You gotta get back well, to the real art. Nathan did win uh, another show. His 11th show was that Sheru Classic. So he did come back after that loss to uh, Regan, and he won his 11th contest. So he's doing good this year. He's got two wins already this year. But I didn't like his condition in the last show. He was a little bit less quality. You know, the first oh, really? two shows, the one, he won, the one he won and the one he could have won against Regan, it was fantastic. He peaked properly. 
But the third show, the shoes, the classic, I didn't think he looked as good. For my eyes, I don't know. Maybe I seen the wrong video. I thought he looked better in the first show. I think he Two. should just take a break and prepare for the Olympia and do it smart. And not over yeah. abuse his body. You know, you'll burn out if you keep going. See, he looked a little bit softer in the side chest here. Slightly softer. He looks fuller. Yeah. Yeah, he looks he looks fine, but well, he looks better in the earlier two shows. We only got Very like uh, four and a half weeks to the Olympia. Hopefully he'll make well, the Olympia because I know he's had problems with John, four and a half weeks is a long time. All you got to do, allow your body to breathe for a couple of weeks and re-peak. Re-peak and yeah. load up yeah. properly and dry up properly. And you see, these poses also wrong. Like the hamstring should be pointed more this way and the, the diamond of the right. gap should be pointed this way, not that way. So they're killing the diamond this yeah. way. He's got to go that way yeah. and bring his feet closer together and create a beautiful line. So that's another weakness yeah. of uh, Nate need to work on. Yeah. Impressive. Yeah. I, I'm impressed. But, hey, who is perfect anyway? I, I'm just giving my opinion. <laughs> I, I, there's no such a thing as perfect. Yeah, maybe you can say Frank Zane and Maka, we do a perfect in every position. That's yeah. about the only two perfect that did it all, like, right on the money, every single pose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you see uh, yeah, I, Terrence Ruffin came back after his um, after his bad Olympia showing last year? He came back and he won uh, that contest at Dubai. You see, Terrence. In classic. Classic. You know, you know why Terence is winning now, because he gets in top shape, and look at how he aim and make his body rhyme. That's why I'm thinking, yeah. a guy like Terence, they do good because he moves properly. He doesn't walk with from one post to another. He show more professional. But we, we saw him in Tampa, remember? We are talking, he was with his girlfriend. I think he had a Lebanese girlfriend. Yeah. Remember? Yeah. I, I, Terrence can, can pose. Terrence can pose. So some of those pros should go to Terrence if they don't want to find Frank Zane and Terrence too busy. You Look at that's a good pose. And so I'm happy for him. He won that show, right? Yeah, he won, yeah. Well, why do you win? Not not because he's the biggest. He's not. But look at because he know how to show a beautiful body and he capitalized on what he had. Is his arm bigger than Regan Grime? No. Is his legs <laughs> bigger than Regan Grime? No. But what do you have over Regan? The class of presentation. He know how to make yes. the body rhyme and pop up, you see? Regan need to yeah. have that kind of ability to crack into the top five in the Olympia. That's, again, my yeah, he's honest a, opinion. You know me. <laughs> I'm, I'm passionate. I'll talk about it as is. Yeah, look at that, Samiri. won 20 grand. Won 20 grand in Dubai. He got, I'm sorry. I didn't really. He got what? He won $20,000. That was his prize money. We deserve a little bit more. For first place. <laughs> I would give him 50 grand. Come on. But that's good. That's I think good. that's what they – I think the Olympia is 50 grand for the winner. Well, he's going to be good at the Olympia. I like his body. See, he looks he looks a lot yeah. better on the right. This oh, is yeah. He made great right. well, they, remember, yeah, the last year at the Olympia, he was – Top five, so it was really bad for him. He, he played yeah, because he missed the top five. That, that tells you, you you missed your peak. I don't care who you are, you're not gonna make it. He peaked properly right. in Dubai, and it shows with his posing ability. It was able to win deservingly, and he beat some big yes. boys, didn't he? Mm -hmm. Very good. Yeah, I'm, yeah, he I'm did. Happy. It was a guy who was really good, and uh, he beat. Um, Who's the, Wesley Vissers, who's another really good bodybuilder, tall guy. He beat him. Yeah. 
I mean, he, he's got he, he's got a pretty physique. You know, he focuses a lot on his midsection and his separation and upper thighs. Most of the pro aren't doing that. Yeah. Smart bodybuilder always control right. this. The middle and the upper thighs, and they know how to make it rhyme in every pose. And this is the beginning of yeah. being impressive on stage. Yeah. Yep. Well, he's doing this another. Best- I think he's doing a show this. The uh, the Legion show. He's doing the Legion show. He'll be up against Logan Franklin. The yeah, Legion Sports I mean, Fest. There it is. Yeah, I mean, Ruff is uh, pretty damn good. He's pretty damn good. I so like how do you his. Think- uh, how do I think? How do you think he'll do? I, mean, I think. Uh, I think. Um, what's his name? Uh, <laughs> Logan has to. Logan. Peak properly. Quite honestly, Logan missed his peak last contest. He missed his yeah. peak. And, and he spent the last three days was hyped up instead of just eat and relax and pose and fill up. I mean, he starts, Logan start loading. He was, I think, right around 221 or 222, and he have up to 227. And he didn't even load one one pound. He was on stage right almost about the same pound. And I'm talking to Rico. Yeah. I told him honestly what I thought. You know, it's funny. He said, Samir, it's really funny you're telling me this. I said, why? He said, Labrada told me the same thing. <laughs> you you know, <laughs> you got to load up properly. You got to load up. The last, the last three days should be reserved for healing. For fullness, for yeah, you know, first, I told him, I said, first you put your money in the bank, and then you can work on being drier. But you, you cannot do it the other way around. Yeah. You you cannot be hyper busy doing this and that. Your body won't load. For example, from no. what I know, Haney used to sleep for three days before the show in his room. All he does eat and rest, right. eat and rest. Regan was like all over the place. He actually went and. I mean, I'm not saying, sorry, not Regan, Logan. Logan went and trained yeah. the day before for like one hour almost. You don't train the day before like that. You can go pump oh, up no, for like no 10, way. 15 minutes, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think, yeah, I think that interfered with his loading pro- uh, the right way. It's still, still working with still, him? I don't work with him on the nutritional side. He asked me to... Help him re- to peak this time. I'm working with him more on posing. I really check his posing over and over. And he really is a good poser. No. We cannot, you know, Logan is in control when he posed. Had he popped up yeah. three, four more pounds, he would have won that show, like, easily. He was yeah. somewhat on the flat side. What do you think? You think he was a little bit flat? Yeah. Oh, yeah. He was flat, the last one. He, I think I he saw gave, can he give Terrence a run for his money or no? Of course he could. But, I mean, we have to see the real Logan on stage. I saw, look, two weeks before that show, Logan looked, oh, my God. I mean, it looks like he's going to easily win his show. But mm-hmm. he didn't peak properly. He, he kind of abused his body a little bit the final week. And I think if you're ready one week yeah. out, that should be walk in the park. All you got to do, relax, let the body recover, block all the negativity, just relax. This is one of the biggest mistakes I used to do back in the days. Okay, he, 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 to me, look at the body, beautiful. The pose is right, the legs in the right place. He needed about four or five yeah. pounds of glycogen. He yeah, would have looked flat. much more so- ripped. He would have looked five times more ripped as he loaded enough. You could see it in the chest, the chest and the shoulders and the arms. He's flat. Oh, of course. I know his body very well. I mean, I would have loved to been able to talk him into peaking properly, but I, I, he did his own thing in peaking, not me. I, I did not help. But mm, a couple yeah. of times I said, Regan, what are you doing? I said, Logan, what are you doing? Go to your room and rest, pose a little bit, and don't bother with anything. You already did the work. You already yeah, looked incredible. Relax. 
He didn't relax. No stress. He, yeah. He stressed himself out a little bit the final couple of days. I mean, look at that physique. It's beautiful. He's not a. Yeah, it is. Is he qualified for the he, Olympia? I think he's going to do the show in Hawaii. And uh, I I talked to him last week when I was oh, sure. in Mexico with FaceTime. And um, I'm supposed to talk to him. When is that show he's doing right now? In a week? Against Terrence. This weekend. This weekend. This weekend. The Legion. Yeah. I see. Well, today's Wednesday. I'll talk to him in a bit. Check him out. But I tell you, it's sad to see okay. his prep went to waste. Just all you needed to eat is for yeah. a couple of days and rest up. Mm. Yeah. We know. You know what's funny? Everybody, we all go through this. When your mind is at ease and relaxed, you, you don't even to do anything. Mm-hmm. You just eat and relax, and you're like, wow, why does it not look like that? You need to load up. The bottom line, you cannot get fat. I don't care even if you try for two, three days. You can't. You cannot yeah. get fat even if you try. So being depleted like that, it's impossible to really show the real you. The guy that yeah. won, he had he prepped he prepped himself properly, but you know his, the legs were good, but still he had the upper body. Uh, I thought I thought Logan could have won. Sean Ray. Texted me, he thought Sean, he shot, he said like, uh, Logan should have won, according to Sean Ray. Oh, really? And hmm. at the photo, personally, I look at the photo and I said, shit, this is going to be a tight show. Hmm. Anyway, hopefully, hopefully he'll do good. And, you know, against Roof Diesel, it's not going to be also walking apart because both of them can pose very yeah. well. Yeah, yeah, so that'll be good. It's, two, it's, two good posers at one show. Both, both of them are great poser, but let's see who's going to peak properly yeah. here. So. Yeah. So is he qualified for the Olympia or no? He has to win a show to be qualified, right? I I think so. I think yeah. he's not going to okay. be able to go in the Olympia. He, he just missed his uh, chance. So. But he's doing, he you said he's doing show and race show and He's doing a show in Hawaii, but that show coming up, will that allow to qualify him at the Olympia? No, Sean Ray's show is two weeks after the Olympia. Oh, I see. So will that show entitle him to compete at the Olympia if he wins it? Well, next year. I mean, the Olympia will be over. No, I'm talking this coming weekend. Just coming, yeah, yeah, yeah. If he wins this, I think so. I think if he wins this one, he'll be qualified. Yeah, I see. Because it's before he should be. Uh, yeah, I haven't talked to him about it, so I'll call. I'll call him afterwards. Check on him. So, yep. Hey, did you see? Um, did you see Big Rami's not competing in Olympia this year? I wonder why he dropped out. I wonder uh-huh. why. I mean, I I have no idea. Is it? Hopefully, it's not health related. Yeah. You think I it's just because, uh, like the judge, the judges said that he'd probably be better off just taking a break, giving his body a break. Well, it's not up to the judges; it's up to his blood tests, and it's about it's up to his body. If his body is responsive, you know, and I guess his coaches between uh, uh, Chad Nichols and Dennis James. You know, I think that both of them are his main advisor right now. So maybe they see that it would yeah. be in his best interest to rest a year. But I don't think he retired. Did you say earlier to me that he was retiring? No, I just he's he just young. said he was announcing that he wasn't doing the Olympia. He didn't say he was going to retire. That's what I heard. I heard he's not going to compete. So yeah. I haven't found out more details. So. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So we got we got people in the Olympia now not competing. That Ian Valer he he retired, and now Big Rami's not competing. So uh, there'll be more uh, more opportunity for guys to move up. You know. 
Of course, of course. Well, I, and then I had people yesterday, I was checking Instagram and they were asking Rami, I'm sorry, they're asking Ronnie Coleman, who do you think would win the Olympia? Mm, what he, went, he went, he said, I have to go with Derek. Yeah. Yeah. I still think Derek Lunsford have the advantage. I mean, again, let's not say Samson. Samson is very dangerous, but I let's hope Samson can peak properly. I always worry about yeah. the peaking plan, the modern peaking plan. Not allowing the body to get that really paper thin skin, and, and I think Hardy, uh, Hardy Ramboid, he understands peaking properly, and whatever he does, he's doing a hell of a job on drying up the athlete and show more higher quality. Yeah. So whatever Hani, whatever Hani is doing. Was his athlete? I think he's keeping him safe, and his peak and plan seem to be more sound than what some other coaches are doing. From my perspective, yeah. What do you think? Yeah. So, at like four and a half weeks out now, who do you think would be? Who's your top three right now, Samir, for the Olympia? I have to go with Derek. I have to go with Derek and then Hadi Chopin and uh, perhaps, you know, we have who else? Samson and what's his name? Uh, the other big guy. Nick. Nick Walker. I mean, Nick Walker, I saw a couple of photos and he seemed to be pretty good even now. So. Oh, yeah, I would, yeah. He'll I, I like to see Nick Walker also improve his presentation. You should never be satisfied. Oh, yeah, I did a good routine. Show more what you have, what you worked hard for this year. I I, I can see Nick in the, right up there too. And who do we have? Yeah. Who do we have? Uh, I mean, look at, look at. He's putting his feet a little bit better, closer. The more he keeps his feet closer, the better his chances. And look at the quality. I yeah. mean, impressive. Huge guy. Oh, yeah. yeah. And he always speaks. He's always. Well, evidently, who his coach is doing a good job with him. He's a hard worker, staying yeah. on the same page with someone intelligent. And you can see the muscle yeah. quality is more like old school looking muscle. Right. And so, uh, you know, I mean, we need to see Samson with that paper thin skin. If Samson comes in with that paper thin skin, Lord have mercy, he'll be very dangerous. You know, I have yet to see, see paper thin skin on. <coughs> Excuse me. Well, uh, who do we also have? We have, uh, what's his name? Andrew Another Jack. Big guy. Andrew Jack. <laughs> You know, I mean, look at that, Samson. Okay, look, we are impressed. But really, if you get close and you see that paper-thin skin, it's really not paper-thin skin, okay? And so yeah. will that make a huge difference? I think at the Olympia level, it does. I mean, the body is not going to look from 10 yards away, even if you're holding water and you're sick, the skin is thick. But you can still see someone... I mean, look, in here, you can see the delt is not striated. I don't know how old this photo. But if you look yeah, at, at uh, Nick Walker's shoulder, you can see there's more, the delt is more carved in. Now, yeah. is Samson capable? Oh, my God. This guy, incredible body. I mean, Samson is incredible. But I still don't see the paper, paper, thin skin. Yeah, very impressive. He looks I... cut. I mean, look at the guy on his left. What's his name? The champion who was uh, next to uh, Samson. I saw him in New York. What's his name? Michael. Michael. Uh, Michael DeBull. Um, Michael DeBull. I saw him posing in New York. I was very impressed. Beautiful body, thin mm. skin, and you can see in that photo that his skin is slightly thinner. 
than Samson. Yeah. yeah. I, I think Samson's yeah. outweigh him by 60, 70 pounds. Yeah, right. In, I know. That, in that photo, you know, Michael still looked really damn big next to him. But you can see the skin is slightly finer. I I don't know. I mean, yeah, uh, Samson looked good too. But let's see on day. I, I you see, I'm not happy with the delt here, the striation, no striation in the deltoid. The body amazing, the flow incredible. Yeah. Um, uh, it remained to be seen if you get that quality of let's say what what he's going like someone like uh Nick Walker quality I I'm pretty comfortable with his coaching I think he's going to have the quality I'm comfortable with Derek peaking because Hani understand peaking and he bringing him like more detail this year we knew we yeah. know from the past olympia that Derek could have been sharper in the back area. So with Derek, in my opinion, he's already massive. Just additional quality. Wow, it's going to be not bad. And don't forget, Hadi Chopin with his power and personality. And I know he's going to be ready. So Yeah, yeah, I think so too. It's hard to say sometimes who, who's so going to come in. Right on the money that day. Yeah, it's always a guessing game. We never know. You never know till the day of the show, you know. So I would say Derek first, Heidi and Samson. Yeah. This this is my top three. Yeah. I mean well I agree. Samson and Nick, I agree with you. Sam Samson and Nick could take that cha- make the changes there. But let's yeah, see. Yeah, Samson's how a little off Nick. Nick. I, yeah. I really hope the best one done- win. I know, I know Nick Walker is working super hard. I saw a photo of him yeah. a couple of days ago standing from his side, and his glute was really striated, and yeah. his and his and his intercostal were like really shredded. So I was I was impressed. Uh, hopefully, he can make the adjustment on his lower body positioning. Because most of the guys aren't really paying attention to the lower body. When you open your legs, you throw off the overall beauty of the body. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think if Samson's off a little bit, I think Nick's, Nick could move into that top three then. Because you know exactly. Nick's going to be in top two. I, yeah. I think Nick will be more improved over last year. And you never know. I mean, let's hope. Man, I... I I wish everyone the best and may the best man win. Uh, you know, yeah. Derek, Derek, Hardy, Nick, and Samson. To me, those are the top four. Those are the top four. Yeah, me four. too. Yeah. So, Although I'd, I'd love to see Andrew Jack move up because I love that guy's physique. Andrew Jack, beautiful body. He's got a beautiful flow. He's and don't forget my favorite physique. <laughs> I, I'm going to go back and talk about Crizo. How many times I talked about Crizo, and it already cost me enough money on sushi. <laughs> but, you know, Crizo, Jean, really, Crizo, I'm impressed by his quality at the size that he has. But Crizo, yeah. also another horrible poser. I want to say it like that. I love his body. Yeah. His presentation is also maybe six. I, I think even Regan Grime is a was but look at that. Look at that right shoulder so, and arm, and even now, look at the quality. Yeah. So yeah. let's see if he could control his posing, improve on that. What do you think? You're still not convinced about Crizzle, right? <laughs> Well, he's, you know, like, he's got the, all the potential, but, I mean, he, like you said, he's got to come through with the posing. He's got to present himself correctly, you know? I mean, I just don't think he's, John. he has enough experience, you know? He just hasn't competed enough. He just doesn't look comfortable on stage. 
That's thank you. You said it. I mean, when you look at his body, just like that training, look at that. Yeah. He's unbelievable. Look at this striation and his traps dealt huge arm. Incredible. The guy yeah, is missing look- nothing. You can't say his back is weak. I think he has probably the most beautiful shoulders and arms in the whole show. He brought his back up at that last show, the show that he did this year. He had a really good back. His back was Jean, much improved. Jean, believe me, from my perspective, and I only have over 45 years in the game, Crizzo can be deadly dangerous, but he need to do that. And so far, he hasn't done that. He go on stage, is not right. sure of himself. He cannot control his flexing. You're right. So with that, right, right, right. I don't. I can't ensure for him top five because of that. Well, I don't know if you remember. Remember when he won that show in the spring? I said, what this guy should be doing is he should be posing all the time. He should be. He should be posing at contest. He should be like, even if he's doing it for free, he should just volunteer to go in a contest anywhere he can and pose because that's Look. the only way he's going to get that stage. Experience. You know, he's not going to get it posing in the gym. So, I totally agree with you. If if he wants to do something very intelligent, him and his camp, who was ever backing him up, they should say, "Look, Crizzo, he's five grand. We are donating five grand. Give it to Frank Zane, and let Frank Zane spend <laughs> the week with you. You can go check in, take Airbnb next to Frank Zane's house." For 10 days straight, give Frank Zane $5,000, let him work with you at least five, six sessions, and he will make a difference. He can do that with me, too. He can come in. If yeah. Frank is not, I could do similar job because you know me. I'm more graduate out of the Frank Zane kind of style of posing. I could yeah. help Cruzol, and I would have no mercy on him. I would. Tell him that looks great. That looks like poop. Look, legs are open like that. Wrong. That's wrong. That's wrong. The whole transition is horror. But look at how beautiful shoulders and arms. The pose is not right. Yeah. Look, look. On a scale of one to ten on this pose, yeah, I like... give him a four. Four. <laughs> I will. Right. He let his stomach go from the side. That's wrong. See? That's wrong. He's better than he's better than last year. You know, he he, does, he is trying different poses. He's going down. He's kneeling. So he's better than he was last year. But no, he's not ready for the Olympia yet. No, he's not. Looking at this pose and routine, who's going to bring to the Olympia stage? It's not going to bring him to the top five. I'm sorry. And even though he's one of my favorite, unless he listen and control that part of his prep and be able to fly that airplane he has, he's not going to do well unless he can do that. Right, right. Uh, Can he do that? Yes, he can. We have to focus on that. You know, uh, I'm working with someone right now who's 290 pounds. Now he's down. Douglas is about 280 pounds. I, I want... I saw when I was in Mexico, Douglas went with a couple of people. I sent Doug a, a, a text message. I said, you know what, Doug? I'm glad you're working hard, but I don't approve some of those posing you were doing. So I'm going to see him in the next couple of days. Tomorrow I'm going to Gold Gym. I want to work with him. He has five weeks. If he posed really good, he can win his show. He's got a beautiful body. But so far, he's yeah. not in control of what he has. It's important, you know. And but Hunter yeah, has improved a lot. Hunter has improved a lot in his presentation. Yeah. He is listening to his dad a little bit more now. Will you see Hunter in the top five in the Olympia? Yeah, I think so. He could. He could. I mean, he'd have to beat Andrew Jack, but I think he could. Andrew Jack beat him. Yeah, I know. I, know. Andrew I like Andrew show. Jack body. Well, remember yeah. Hunter two years ago, he was ahead of uh, Nate, uh, Nick Walker. 
Yeah. About yeah, three years ago. So Hunter, Hunter ago, is yeah. also is capable. And I think Hunter should focus more on quality, more, which is we saw him. We're sitting next to each other in Tampa. He looked very impressive yeah. and he won. So, uh, like I said earlier, it was a big mistake for him to compete uh, and lose his last show because he would have gone to the Olympia with more on the winning side. But I think he will mm-hmm. come back and hopefully he will get. Look at that. He's very good. And he's yeah. posing a lot better. I'm sure Lee is coaching him with posing. He has improved a lot yeah. in posing. So Hunter in top, top condition improve over Tampa. I think he will probably also be in the top five. Yeah, I do too. Yeah, his, his physique yeah, overall fl- flows very good. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And the judges like him, too. You know, so. He's doing good. He's doing good. I don't like the position of opening the arm. I think I'm sure Lee told him, anytime you do edges, when you do edges like this, that's very wrong. Opening the legs wide yeah, is yeah. very wrong. Making edges with your elbow is very wrong. You got to keep that body flow like aerodynamic and create line. Yeah, yeah, that's nice. Yeah, if he had his legs more wide open, he would look terrible. So evidently, uh, his dad is helping in that. I'm convinced that Lee is helping him with posing. That's why he's looking a lot better. Yeah. Uh, but he's not as hey, good before as we his go. Dad yet. Oh before no, we go not right. at all. <laughs> I want to mention uh, Jerry. Jeremy Bondia, who's coming back uh, from five years ago. He hasn't competed in men's physique for five years ago. So he's coming back to the Olympia yeah. this year. Well, Jeremy, I saw some video. He looks really good already. And he still have like, I think, four yeah. weeks. I commented on one of his posts. But Bondia has got a beautiful body. And honestly, he needed to also perfect his positioning a little bit more. Look, you should never be satisfied with mm-hmm. positioning. Like, this is like the Samir pose. And he could yeah. do a better job. But five weeks out, it's not bad. Four weeks out, it's a long time. He's looking a lot better. I don't know if he's in the L.A. area. Yeah. I'm going to see if he is here in L.A. You no, he's in he uh, right at, at Armbrust Gym. So I think that's Colorado, right? Uh huh. That's where uh, well, Phil Heat trades. Yeah, yeah. He he need to do a little bit more work on his positioning, but I can see he's coming back. He's looking really good. Yeah, I like Jeremy. Yeah. I like. Well, if he wins, but he. Well, if he wins, if what? he wins, he'll be a five. I said, if he wins, he'll be a five-time winner. Well. He's proven it that he could, and all he has to do is keep going and be as ripped as possible, be as professional as possible. I, I, I mean, I still see some of some of the mistake in some of the poses, but his muscle roundness mm-hmm. and quality looks a lot better than I've seen him. So ho- hopefully he'll focus on the entire prep, which is posing too. If he if he's gonna come down to LA, I would love to work with Jeremy. You know, we're friends, and I would really like to contribute to his posing a little bit. Uh, I see him yeah. winning again, so don't be satisfied. Yeah, you think so? Work. Well, I don't know. He's is competing again, but he seems to he seems to be back to where he was almost. Well, Aaron Aaron Banks is the two time winner. He's the reigning champ. You think he's going to beat him? Could you show a photo of him? I I don't recall his physique, but I know the guy that he, he, the guy won like in the past he's, couple he's, of Olympia, right? Yeah, he's he's much taller than Jeremy. I'm not worried about height. You know, I have proven it where I have beaten much taller and bigger guy. So I would say for Jeremy to keep getting chiseled and um, 
and be a professional poser again? Where's that guy you, who you were talking oh. about? I What's thought Scott was going to pull it up. Aaron Banks. He's a two-time winner. Let me see. I want to I want to see what, what you look like. I mean, of course, it's not going to well, be easy for Jeremy, but he's capable. I mean, Jeremy going in, it'll make it exciting this year, you know, to see if he can for come sure. back and win. Well, he's trying. Oh, that's the champ. Mm. Yeah. Well, mm, looking at the photo, let's see the front. See, the position is horror. Horror. <laughs> the That's the how they legs post, are though. not bad. He's doing good on the lower part, but he's already dressed wearing the pants. But Yeah, I can't see a photo. position in the legs. I want to see his anyway. body. What's he showing is his back? Yeah, and that open of the arm, oh my lord. They all do that, Samir. They all do. <laughs> I don't know who started this <laughs> terrible fashion. I mean, it's no, a no. horror. Horror, horror. Yeah. Total horror. It's just really making the body. It's, it's like, like mocking body. It's just. I mean, the man's got a beautiful yeah, body, some... but that positioning is a horror. I don't think he is a lot better. I, I, look at that. What is this beginning? What is this? Like they go over, they all go like they cock the gun and start doing this. Nobody's it's like, like, uh, really it's like Dracula. Himself. You see, like they cock the gun and they go like. Yeah. The sad yeah. part is most of the guys are learning from the wrong coaches in posing. Yeah. You, well, you know what it is too? They all copy off. They, they all copy off each other, too. So if one guy does it, like, if someone like Aaron does it, then everybody else does it. Look, look at, uh, lower, lower, scroll back down again a little bit. No, back up, back up, back up a little bit. A little bit more. Yeah, right there on the back. Up, up, right there. Look at the arm. Uh, why is, would anyone stand like this? Why? You tell me, what is that doing? And the legs wide open, the arms wide open. To me, on a scale of one to ten, I'll give that a zero. Not, that's right. a, not acceptable. Zero. Right. Why? It's not. It's that's not right. It's like we call the motorcycle. Yeah, it's motorcycle. like it's the motorcycle. Oh, it looks like they're. Right. I, I. It's horror. It's like ugly. To be honest, it's ugly, John. It's not good. It oh, is. most of them have beautiful body. Yep. But I, I can also see Jeremy being that. Jeremy need to be ready. If Jeremy will come back and get, he can claim back his title. I don't think this gentleman, you know, is not. It's be he's beatable. You know. Yeah. But his last name is Banks, right? Yeah. Yeah, I like his body, but his presentation also. Mm. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> uh. Oh my God. Anyways. Oh. God, why? So, Who's that? They go, you know what? They're He's going. Not, they're learning posing from the butcher, or from the blacksmith. <laughs> you know what the anniversary of today's date is, Samir? What anniversary of who? The 1980 Mr. Olympia was today, October 4th. The 82 Olympia. The 80, 1980, in Australia. Oh, the 80, oh, 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 because Albert Busek, he posted yeah. the memory of the 82 Olympia. It was like a week ago. Albert oh, okay. Busek All right. posted that. It was, I think, September 23rd or 24th. Yeah, 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 you're right. And uh, so today was the 80 Olympia, right? 
October 4th, yeah. Wow. The most controversial Miss Olympia still ever. The most controversial Olympia ever, right? That was honestly big disappointment to me. Uh, I mean, for me, it was my first Mr. Olympia, Sean. I love being yeah. there. I mean, when I compete against my hero, was Arnold. Yeah. And then you know me. I, I, I said it like it is. I, even though I wanted Arnold to win, and I really was rooting for Arnold because I was still, I'm a beginner and I'm like competing against my hero. But when I saw my yeah. hero backstage, I put my hero out of the top five. Wow. Hmm. Yes. I didn't vote for Arnold in the top five. If he's lucky, Arnold deserves you, fifth who you, place. Who do you think should have won that night, Samir? You could actually, it's a case, I mean, look, Boyer Cole, uh, I mean, Frank Zane and Mike Menser, they all of them looked better than Arnold. All yeah. of them did look better. Roy I mean, Callender, they were all ripped and full, there, was, but Arnold was... What's up? Was it was there one guy who you thought stood out above everybody that could have won? See, I'm on the stage looking at him while I'm in the background. I thought Zane and Mensur and Dickerson, even Chris Dickerson looked pretty good. Dickerson looked and, real good, yeah. Uh, I think uh those are the top five. You could go in any order, but I mean I was off. Padilla was off. Tenorino, rest in peace, was shredded. But I think t Dennis never get any love. But I thought yeah. uh, I, my top five would be Frank Zane, Chris Dickerson, Mike Menser, Roy Callender, and then Arnold. And so all of those guys were better than Arnold. Are they better than Arnold? Yeah. Really? No, they are not. But that day, they were better yeah, than Arnold. Not. So yeah. Arnold was not was he's my hero, but my hero wasn't my hero. That it was not didn't satisfy my eyes, and that's the truth. When there will be no ass kissing here, hey, man. Were people booing when he won? Do you remember? Oh, you, you know the thing. You know you know how Arnold went. Arnold was already Conan the Barbarian. Arnold have a fan around the globe. I have a friend from the Napa yeah. Valley. They want Arnold to win, even if you look like fucking Pee Wee Herman that day. <laughs> but, you yeah, know, yeah. I, a lot of the experienced bodybuilders that were there with me didn't think Arnold didn't deserve the top five. I yeah. personally but, would give Arnold a fifth place. Look, even Roger Walker, well, Roger doesn't have a beautiful physique, but he was in better shape. But look, Dickerson, Zane, Menser, Boyer Cole, Roy Calder, they were all sh sharper than Arnold. And sometimes the, those photos doesn't tell the real story. So Right, right. That's what I was going to say. Yeah, Zane Menser, Dickerson, Boyer Cole, Roy Calder. Those two, four, five, I thought all of them, you know, you got to see the body moving. Some of those photos doesn't yeah. really give you the entire story. Because when I walked backstage, I looked yeah. at Arnold, I was like, I wasn't convinced. Because I saw Arnold for one month preparing for that show at World Gym, and his body was really uh -huh. looking good. I I thought Arnold would win. But I know, yeah. and people don't realize this, Arnold personally told me he had to take an inject injection in his delt for he had an issue with his rotator cuff. So he took a cortisone right. Cort shot, and that altered his chemistry. Whatever it was, Arnold was retaining a lot of water. And when you retain yeah. water, yeah. and when you're flat and retain water, that's the worst thing could happen. So for that right. reason, right. Arnold did not look like the real Arnold. And if Arnold had to reserve, use diuretic at that show, that could have been back, probably backfired. So he was not full. It was not the real Arnold in my eyes. And you know me, I would analyze the mosquito in bodybuilding. Um, yeah. That was, that was what I don't, happened. He didn't, he didn't, yeah. 
He didn't take a diuretic, Samir. I heard he posed for like eight hours the day before the show to get rid of the water. Who knows? Who, who knows? I mean, taking a diuretic at for once in a while when needed to save a good prep, you could, and you could do it safely. But at times, diuretic can backfire where you lose. Here I am standing, looking at them. I mean, he still looked good, but he wasn't better than those guys. I, I mean, right, right. you know. No, I, I heard. Was, I heard he didn't. He just pulled. John, be honest with me. Be honest with me. You have been in this sport forever. This is the worst mm -hmm. Arnold Schwarzenegger I have ever saw on stage. Is that true? Yeah. Yeah, I agree. I agree. So that wasn't Arnold. I mean, if the real Arnold, as in 72, 73, was on stage, he would destroy the guys. I, I mean, I, he would have won yeah. the hands down. Right. Hey, I isn't it I crazy though? Up. Hey, John, I was isn't it almost crazy? in that show. <laughs> it's yeah. crazy what? Forty three years it. later, people still debate it. There's no debate about it. You gotta listen to me. I was there, I'm eyewitness, and I analyze everything right. fairly. I love Arnold. I'm a big I'm a big fan of Arnold, but for me, the truth must be told. Look at a photo on the bottom. Look at the right. That was not Arnold. That was Arnold minus yeah. 10 pounds of glycogen. Arnold was as flat as a pancake. Look at even Frank Zane and Mike both popping more than Arnold. Yeah, yeah. You know, I mean, I... Look, no, I uh, that that's all I could say. I I could talk about it in fifty years from now, but it won't change my opinion. You know, uh, I was excited being there. I really, really Arnold doesn't know it. I'm Arnold's biggest fan at the time. I started bodybuilding yeah. because of Arnold, but this is exactly what happened, and I was disappointed. But again, it's caused by. An injury to his shoulders, whatever he did, he's not invincible. Only God is perfect. So, yeah, he only trained he did, eight weeks. Well, no, I'm, hey, whether he trained eight or three months, I saw him looking really good at World Gym, and I can see that he'll be capable of winning. But whatever happened the yeah. final two weeks or three weeks, he was training on injured rotator. And this is the truth that right, people right, don't right. talk about. People don't talk about it, but I know for a fact. So, yeah, you pushed, okay. it. Uh, you pushed it so fast. Back. Back so fast. Arnold, That's what did it. You know? Arnold is human. He can screw up. So, he did screw up this time. And it's, it's an issue that he could not help. He needed to train. The cortisone was what probably what caused that to happen. Yeah. <laughs> I'll bet if he had a chance to do it again, I'll bet he wouldn't do it. If he does it again, or if Arnold yeah, if he, comes if he, back to do that. Well, let's go back again to 1980. And if Arnold was training three months prior to that show, and he didn't have any health issue with his shoulder, I think he would have won easily. Yeah. But whatever happened yeah, but saying, in that final two, if he have an, uh, and if he have an option to do it all over again, he wouldn't. Right, right, yeah. I think I think if he created a lot of ill will, a lot of people, you know, he broke a lot of relationships that he had, and you know, it was so controversial. And then CBS never ran the footage, so I mean, I think if he wouldn't have done it, or if he would have just went there and guest posed, you know, I think it would have been a much better decision. Yeah, I agree. I think Arnold should have should have noticed that his condition wasn't proper. He should have said, hey, guys, I'm not going to compete. I would love to guest pose, and that's it. That would yeah, have been better yeah. because it would look great. Of he would have ended it. Oh, yeah. Can you imagine? everybody? Then everybody would have been talking like, oh, he would have won it if he would have went in it. You know, it would have created yeah. all this con you know, all this talk. And yeah. Definitely. When he's alone he on have... stage posing, is, when he's alone on stage yeah. posing, you wouldn't tell. But when you compare him next to yeah. Zane and Mentor, Right. They are full and dry. You could notice it. You could feel the difference. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 
here we are talking it's about still, it. It's still how many the years ago now? 43 years yeah, ago. Yeah, 43 years later. I put it on my Facebook page this morning, and within within 10 minutes, I had like 40 comments. <laughs> it was crazy. Yeah, people keep talking about it. And really, for me, in my head, <laughs> rewind, replay, I could just actually remember everything that happened from the contestant meeting to the judging being backstage. I could close my eyes and see exactly what went on. And, you know, back then I was yeah. a fan, and I really want to – See Arnold. I didn't get to see Arnold for the final like two weeks. So I was expecting Arnold to really be yeah. like, wow, peak properly. But when I went backstage yeah. and I'm looking like, hmm, hmm, something not right. You could see yeah. it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Conan didn't, didn't kick no. ass that day, but they love him. The no, audience no. <laughs> like who he is. And you know, yeah. if, even if the show wasn't rigged, some of those judges are a fan of Arnold. So some of them were a little bit biased. Oh, yeah, yeah. And some of them, I you know, I right. was that show f- fixed up? I don't know. Is Arnold fixed the show? I don't think so. Is the promoter, no, what's his so. name, Paul Graham fix it? And people say a different thing. But I would say the judges are a big fan of Arnold. And they are a personal yeah. friend of Arnold. And then you know what? Some of people, if I was judge, I wouldn't vote it for him. You need the judges yeah. like me on the table. No matter. Right, mercy. right. <laughs> right. Have a history. All right. So well, uh, we will talk next week. And uh, we're, we'll be one week closer to the Olympia. We'll talk about the uh, the results from this Legion Sports Fest that's taking place this weekend. So uh, we'll, we'll, we got that to talk about next week. We will talk about some of also nutritional uh, step taken and prep things. Uh, I think that our fans out there would love to be, uh, they're probably interested in learning some of those trick, the old school trick, the new school okay. tricks. I don't, I don't approve, John. Honestly, I don't approve. Yeah. All right, and we'll I talk about that too. And for the problem. Anyway, good chatting with you. Uh, keep it old school, guys. And don't forget. All right. I'm going to talk, talk about my product really quick. You know, about 10 years ago, John, or more than 12, 20 years ago, this product, Replica 191, now we call it Replica GH. We love this product yeah. so much that I convinced old school we need to get it done. And you know what? People love this product. So don't forget to replica G8. And this is Lava 80, Lava 196. It's my weight at the Olympia 83. Great product. And now we yeah. have the prayer prime. <laughs> Go get it and keep it old school, guys. Good chatting with All you, right, John. Again. I'll see you next week. Very good. All right, buddy. Take care.